Hey everyone, we're back. We are going to quickly attack Romania. We still have almost a month before our transports are ready and maybe a month and a half before we can attack the UK. So we're going to focus on this little front here. Our troops are basically in place. We sent the rest of the Air Force, the tactical bombers we had here and the multi-role fighters. We sent them to Belgium over here, well north of France and here in Metz. So we have the complete Air Force ready for Britain. Let's find Romania, where are you? There you are. Declare war, conquer, yeah. Alright. Now, that means we can start to invade. You guys go there. Now we're gonna cross the water here. See if we can do some good and we're gonna after we push these guys back we're gonna push up here with these guys just a frontal assault nothing nothing special just simple maybe one of these guys here because there's multiple troops there I just want to get experience from these assaults it is just basically very simple what we're doing here Let's see how that goes. We'll put it up, put the speed up to four, I think. Last episode we gained a lot of time because we put the time on five. Yeah, so nice. Got some supply issues. Multicore and match. Yeah, that's gonna take some time. Oh yeah, we moved uh, the submarines here. We do want submarines in here so we have some vision so we do have some transports over here now we do have submarines here we'll just put them on patrol here so we know what we will face there is something over here it looks like normal infantry here as well we're going to focus on this one and this one and maybe put something here as a precaution because there's special troops there and they are they could help Bournemouth when I attack them so I want to throw something on this as well or maybe I should just focus completely on Plymouth but we can think about that there's still enough time for that let's just continue our assault here You just go that way. You go here as well. Okay, nice. Yeah, still that independent Croatia thing. Eh? It's just annoying you can't push those things away. Stop that. Fighter pilot focus. That's in air. Nice. And we're gonna go down the line. Again, radar combat impact. We are building radar, a lot of radar, so that will eventually do a lot of good for us. You go that way. Or maybe attack there once you once you get ready for that you go there you go there we're just gonna move them all up the line see what happens go yep all right it's going pretty well you guys attack there uh, maybe we'll attack with these guys over here to make it a uh, you know multi-front attack there there's just some victory points here and here so that's basically very simple attack which should be over soon but I attacked along the whole line you could make spare point attack towards each point 
But your troops of course get experience from attacking and fighting with armies and I want to get as much experience as I can before the Soviet Union gets into the mix. That's why we have done frontal assaults so far. But you will see me make uh, more, try to make more pockets against the Soviet Union. We will do some uh, more smart attacking against them because they are the real difficult opponent. If you let them grow too big. Militia small arms advance. That's right over here. Let's see, how long does it take? 300 days. Yeah, we're going for 1942 technology for the infantry. That's gonna be the next priority in this little green. And we're gonna put that up as well. I want that ready before the Soviet Union starts. March 41, that might just be in time. All right, keep going guys. The assault is going pretty nicely here. You go there. Yeah, you go there. We'll just keep pushing over here. Ah, we, we built something. What do we have? Small arm, infantry and militia, small arms. Ah, yeah, well, let's do that one as well. Put that up top. Sometimes, you know, when you get a little bit more um, leadership, you can appoint some more points and you can appoint some more research as well. So you, you adjust this slider over here. This is how many research projects we have room for with this amount of leadership. And this is how many projects we have lined up. We have 77 projects lined up and we're only researching 36 right now. That's no problem though. I always sign much more than I... I'm currently capable of. If I want to prioritize something, I just put it on top of the list. It's pr quite simple. What did we build actually? Infantry division, that's good. We are filling out this core here. That's the second core, the first um, infantry core in the sixth army. We still have one to go and that will fill this. And once it's filled, we can start a new core. Make a fortress buster, yeah sure, why not. Always nice to have that around. Yes. More victories, more experience. Try to fight in as many spots as possible. And you go there. You guys keep moving. You guys are moving. Should move there actually. You can fight over there. You fight over there. You fight over there as well. Okay, nice. Yep. It's going nicely. So we're pushing the line everywhere here. Which is great. It gets us experience. Ah, there it is. We won. Conquered. Unfortunately, we didn't get um an annex, I would have loved an annex here because we would have had our own territory in a straight line up until the Russian border here. But uh, yeah, Soviet Union, it wasn't meant to be. We're gonna put some guys on the border here to make sure that um, we have a defense. Somebody told me that it can happen that once you get, uh, once you assault the UK that the Soviet Union attacks. I haven't seen that happen personally, but apparently that is possible. So we're gonna postpone the Turkey assault for now. And we are going to redistribute this army. I'll put the headquarter over here in Brasov. Yeah. And I'm going to move the course up the field. Okay, these guys are there. Uh, so this core can go here. I will take three provinces per core. That should basically do it. Should be enough. 
Okay, you guys. One, two, three. Then one, two, three. You should be there. Then we put one over there. That is uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then these three. So it's going to be here. And we don't have many armies yet available. We want, once we uh, start a war with the uh, Soviet Union, we want four or five armies on this front. Uh, at least four. Three is a little light. But for defense purposes, it is no problem. Okay, you guys. Move here. And then we'll move the tanks up. Right to about here and, and guard this part over here. And that's great, that's fantastic. Now the roads are coming in here. Yeah, look at, see this is all 100% roads. These roads are coming in as well along the border here. And we've got roads coming in here. We should extend that to here, but I will do that in the next break. That is boring work. Um, I've done it before uh, on screen, so you see how I do that. But uh, yeah, you, you know road building by now. So that was a quick, quick war against Romania. Got them out of the way. We have that um, oil now, which is great. Let's see, where is that oil? Let me see the resource map. Yeah, we've got some oil here. Two oil at the base is four, but of course I've got collaboration government. We want to change that. And what do we have here? Oil, oil refinery with a little oil as well. So we've got some more oil now in our base territory, which is great. Um, but we have to change the government to military. The government like everything else. That's how we like it. All right. So let that army distribute. Tactical pilots. That is nice. Tactical pilot. We're gonna put that on crew training. That's great. We've got 1940 technology there now. You know what actually might be a wise thing to do is to move this army here. First army. And move it to the front here with Russia. If they attack. <coughs> In the case that does happen after our assault on Britain. Um, we actually will have a defense there, so we might just do that. I'm, I'm gonna move them to Konigsberg and we're gonna postpone this attack as well, temporarily. If nothing happens, we can move the army over there. If we win this front, we can keep two armies here, move a third army here and attack towards the north there as well. We're gonna not attack the Soviet Union yet, at least not before the 6th army is fully fleshed out and maybe even a 7th army but I don't know we still have a year before 1941 that's always what I aim at with but maybe we will attack them sooner this time we'll see we shall see let's put the timer up a little bit until we have the uh, the transport planes Submarine Engineering Research Advance is here, yeah, thank you, very nice. Do we have everything on 36? Yeah, everything and counting, that's nice. Let's put infantry research, let's give that a little boost. Superior firepower, that's great, that's fantastic. Any new... Um, division we can make now will have a plus one brigade in it so we can change all our stuff and we can uh, yeah make bigger divisions now that's fantastic it's gonna do a lot of good so this is 1940 1940 40 well it's 1938 but we <laughs> we want everything up as much as possible engineers and paratrooper organization we might want to Specialize that. We might want to put that up the ladder because we need that. 
in September. Yeah, great. It's not going to be ready for the assault on the UK, but oh well. You can only do so much. Let's see. Yeah. Offensive. That's great. So this one is full. It's got five divisions. Six armies got two full cores now. We're waiting for three more cores to uh, flesh out. We need some more reinforcements apparently. That's great. Yeah, that's the production from Romania being added to the mix. Which is fantastic. We've got 353 now on the research line here. The boats. Um, here are the transport planes. They're almost ready. We are building guard units for the Iberian Peninsula. We're building radar stations. Lots of roads. Some ships. Um, yeah, so here we have the tanks for the 6th army. Uh, they will be finished in July, all of them. That's great. Some of them will be a little earlier in May already. We've got another infantry corps for the 6th army and a mountain corps for the 6th army. Everything will be ready by the end of... This is already finished in May and these guys will be finished in August. At the beginning of August we will have three armies on the eastern front. We've started work on the Graf Zeppelin, our first carrier. Some more boats, Turpits has slowly started. And after that we're gonna work on these air forces. Some separate divisions, brigades, I mean, sorry, brigades. To fill out troops that haven't got five yet, because now we will need to work on that to fill everything up. Some uh, more roads, a lot of roads again. And this will be the first motorized stuff for the seventh army which we're also going to build on the eastern front more roads uh, ss division for the one of the armies on the western front that needs one unit to, to uh, for the rest all the armies are ready and fleshed out this is going to be the tank core for the seventh army two heavies Heavy armored uh, divisions and three medium ones, which is gonna work out fine, I hope. Organization, operational level organization advance, that's cool. The delay between attacks is reduced with uh, even more hours, that's great. And we've got that over here, that is now at 1942 technology, uh, technology level, that's great. So the next level is 1944, it's four years ahead of time if we want to research this. That's a bit crazy. Let's see, I will start with infantry warfare. We want uh, infantry organization. You have infantry morale over here. But I'm gonna start on the organization already. And we're also gonna put that up. I want the infantry to be crack troops. September 1940, that sounds great to me. Encryption. Uh, yeah, that's in... Uh, Industry <clears throat> is 1943. It is 1941, but it, it it's looking at uh, at this rating for the next technology, and that's heavy right now. That's three years ahead of time, so we're not going to do that. We're going to work on oil refinery. That is a better choice with 1941. It's only one year ahead of time, and so that's efficient research. So that's done. Radar. Advanced, that's great. Uh, we've got that at the next level, 1942. And I am gonna change that right now. Am I gonna change that or am I gonna keep researching that? We have some, some technology, but radar is quite important. I think I'm gonna leave that. It's gonna have a lot of effect on what we see and the, the sea tiles that are gonna be visible for us. And that's great. What was that? Militia support weapons. That's great as well. That's this. We're going to put that on light artillery. And we're going to put that on the top of the line. As well. Now our officers are still at 104%. So the whole army is covered with that. That's great. What do we have here? Okay, we have the airlanders. That's great. We're going to put those over here. 
where the paratroopers are. No, I don't want you. Let's see, I want you non-selected. I want these guys. And what do we want? Spotters. Yeah, we don't need any bombing. Uh, we just make it a spotter. Make this mire here. And we put it on OB West. Now this organization has to fill up. And let's see how the paratroopers are doing. Paratroopers are fully organized right now. That's great. Great offer from Italy. We will accept that. We've got 14 production laying around. It's great as well. Okay, so everything is running. We just need some organization here. And we're gonna keep an eye on that. And the moment it's full, we are going to start our assault. It's gonna be great. Mass assault advanced, that's in land doctrine. More technologies before we start, guys. Yes, please, yes, please. Uh, mass assault, that's over here. Infantry morale, let's, let's keep that as well. And I want to prioritize that as well. All the, all the infantry technologies are now running. Except one, except uh, anti-tank weapons. But the rest is all running at the top of the line here, so that's great. Uh, we've got some more production back from the upgrades. That's great. We need some more reinforcements. I'm just, I'm just checking this regularly. Oh, uh, keep an eye on, on those guys. This is what really dictates our uh, assault start point. We're at 5, the 5th of May. Spearhead Doctrine, yeah, great. Fantastic. Spearhead Doctrine also ready before our assault on Britain starts. That's great. Um, let's see, everything is being researched here. That's great for the infantry. And we're just gonna start with uh, this technology. HQ organization is also quite nice. Yeah, well, let's start with that. And after that, these two for arm, uh, armor, morale and organization. But this one is ready. So that's great. Light tank gun advance. That's also fantastic. Move it to armor. And keep going. Alright. Let's check our uh, transports again. And we're gonna wait until that is filled up and then we're going to plan our assault. Okay, fantastic. Pause the game. Now we're gonna see what there is to see here. Uh, what is this? No, we don't want rare materials from over the ocean. That's not gonna be helpful. Yeah, rare materials from you guys is great. We build something, we build an infantry division. It's gonna go to the 6th army. It's gonna be the 21st army corps. Okay, where are we gonna put that? Just here in the in the general vicinity here. Maybe in Warsaw. Okay, you make a core. Where are we gonna put on this core? What do we have here? Let's see, oh. Um, we don't have much, uh, to be honest. Maybe these guys, maybe I should put that on a core for tanks because it has uh, logistical stuff available. That's good. Uh, we have multiple of those. Okay, we're gonna just put that on the infantry core here. And we're gonna call this the uh, 21st Armee Core. Fantastic. And we're gonna put you to the 6th army. Okay. Change this stuff to what we need. And keep building things as fast as we can build them. That is all fine with me. Alright, let's see. So the 6th army now has six or oh, 3 cores. And that's going in the right direction. This army is moving over here. We've got the tanks already stationed there. So Denmark is just guarded by some guard units, but yeah. It is time to start 
planning our assault on Britain. And that will be a lot of fun. Now, let's see. Um, how do we want to start this? Basically start this by clicking this one a little bit back. And we're gonna move these troops as well. Put two guys over here. You, not you, not you, but you, yes. And you go there, and you go there. That's great. Now these two guys can go here. You can go there. And you go there as well. Yeah, he's moving over there, that's great. So we have some cover here. Which is what I want. Against a, a potential Soviet assault. We can't use that right now when we're unprepared. But yeah, this is a little thin here, this, this part, so that's great. I have a lot of infantry here. But we will have more 6 army corps coming in here. And we will start to distribute the first army here on the bush. Now let's move these guys to Breslau. That looks like a great place for that. Or maybe even here. Because I'm gonna put this army on that as well. We're gonna leave Harris Group D here for when we have room for an army to go here. So we will start our assault on Britain in the next episode, guys. I'm gonna um, call this an episode. We're almost 25 minutes in. So next episode, we're gonna assault the UK. And we're gonna see if the Russian front starts moving from that event. We'll see. I am looking forward to it. I hope you do as well, hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed the video, that you learned something there. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, you know, those likes really make a difference. Do leave me a comment, you know, I always look forward to the comments every day. And if you really feel like helping out today, Make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. I really love to have you aboard and uh, don't feel shy to leave me some comments. I always try to respond to them. So again, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.